Met Office has extended its red weather warning for parts of Scotland following widespread flooding that's been caused by Storm Babette. The second person has now been confirmed to have died in the storm. So naturally, I want to go on a camper van road trip around Scotland. What better way to ride through a storm than an actual road trip? The Southwest Coast 300, Dumfries and Callaway, all around the coast, just exploring and adventuring. This should be fun. The first challenge is actually getting to the start point in Dumfries. You see, now that side of Scotland, the southwest all coast, isn't on any weather warnings. Yes, it's going to be windy. Yes, it's going to be a bit wet. But there's no weather warnings. It's the perfect place to go. But to get there, we're going to have to go through the Lake District on the motorway. Now, that is on a weather warning. Just in front of us, between junctions 37 and 40, there's a big exposed hill on the motorway. That's going to be a nerve-wracking drive with the wind blowing us everywhere. <laughs> We're getting blown around like stink. <laughs> Even the sign says it's strong winds, slow down. This is all the exposed bridges where the sides are all exposed with no trees and then all of a sudden it just snaps you and you're like, oh God. But keep it nice and steady, nice and slow and have a bit of fun. Little exposed piece coming up here with the fields. go into T Bay this time. Every time you come up the M6 you've got to stop in T Bay. Not today. Not today. We'll get blown out. The doors will get blown out. <laughs> oh, that's so it's not far off before I start saying money. <laughs> oh. I'm just gonna sit behind a lorry quite a distance behind it and then every time the lorry sort of twitches in the wind I know right brace that's my plan oh look at that side love side winds warning <laughs> there's a windsock just here on the left look at it just going sideways we're gonna get blown all in the night, man <laughs> this is the part that I was scared about I didn't realize I'd enjoy it as much as I am right I'm slowing the cruise control down that's quite scary yeah the trucks are all <laughs> the trucks are all slowing down I'm going to slow down behind them to stay at their speed. A quick turn off the motorway, then the journey and the adventure truly began. First stop being the Sweetheart Abbey. It's just one of many historical sites we'll see on this trip. What an absolutely beautiful spot to be able to have a spot of dinner. Now, we've got to stop her being hungry, so we've got some onion rings for starters. They are love. We're going to go ham and cheese toasties, nice and easy. Doesn't turn out too bad, but a bit of barbecue sauce. Now, we're going to pack up here for a minute. We've only been here for about an hour, had a bit of lunch, enjoyed the sights, made some friends with some sheep. We're going to go further around the coast to a lighthouse, Southerners Lighthouse, I think it was called. I drove all the way down to the lighthouse and you can't park down there. So I'm like, oh, so I had to reverse all the way back up. We finally parked in a car park and we're literally just going to go for a walk down there and have a look. She's getting a dry robe on, getting all nice and warm and snuggly. I'm going to be a man and fanny and moan about it all day because that's what we do. The second oldest lighthouse in Scotland. a good use for lighthouses though they make great shelter from the wind look how choppy it is out there that's amazing but yeah if you just step over here around the corner 
Oh, it's not too bad actually that side. What about this side is though? This side's real bad. Next stop, we've got around 13 minutes, six and a half mile according to the twat nav. It's a sandy beach, sand hills, let's go. Look at where the sat nav's brought us, tiny little roads with all those awesome ruins. There's a sign over there that says you've got to pay to park, so no, nah, we're not going there. I'm going to head over to tonight's park up because it just shocked us, I checked it. It's two hours to, so we're going to make a drive over there. If we see something nice on the way, we'll make sure to stop and have a look. In the dilemma we are at mall of galloway galloway and it's the most southerly point of scotland it's blowing an absolute hooli and we're on the top of the lowest point so it's like right on a peak and it's totally surrounded by sea let me show you so we've got the sea all round over there there's the most southerly point which you can't really see because the rain's there and there's more sea and over there there's more sea I'm gonna put you down and attach you to a mount that's attached to the vehicle so you can see how much we sway in. Mm, okay, you can't really see. Let me take you outside and show you. Okay, you can't really see it rocking there either. Gonk will tell you how much we're moving, won't you, mate? Look at that, it's just rocking away. We're gonna go for a walk up to the lighthouse. They've got like a signpost. You know, they've got a, like Johnny Groats and Land's End. I'm gonna go and have a look at that or attempt to go and have a look at that. The wind's not supposed to die down until about 10 o'clock tonight, so, um, this should be fun. I kind of slipped on me. <laughs> Look at my hair, dead windswept. I slipped on my ass. Um, it's a bit wet. I opened up the uh, Max fan and, and the, the roof was going <laughs> with the wind, so I thought, nah, quickly shut that. While I've got the hob on making a cup of tea, I just jammed the window open a little bit. She's testing out the bed to see whether or not it's actually going to be a suitable spot for her tonight. She says it's okay. The wind is supposed to die down around about 10, 11 o'clock tonight. And there's a cafe down there. I wonder if they do breakfast. We might go for breakfast in the morning. We've even got a little bit of a sunset. The lighthouse still up there. We're sat here, the heating's on, it's nice and comfy. We've got the F1 on. What more could you want? While the F1's on, we've got chili cheese bites, we've got chicken inside there for chicken wraps. We all know that's my favorite meal today. We're gonna burn my face off with some sweet chili sauce. Wind update, it's actually starting to settle down quite a little bit. It's quite nice, the van's still rocking a little bit and nothing compared to what it was though. I really need a haircut. I still look windswept glove. I still look windswept, look at me. How nice does that look? Good morning guys, there we go, we've got the kettle on, that's going nice. Let's go and actually see what it looks like outside. See, it's really not that bad. Oh, we've got another van next to us, over there. Oh, that's fresh. Well, look at that, there's hardly a cloud in the sky. Still a bit windy, still a bit blowy, but look how nice that looks. It's not going to stay like that all day, but I'm going to get out and have a little walk while we can. It's a bit blowy, I'm around the back of the van to try and shelter myself. I can see the Isle of Man just there. You see it? How cool is this? Cracking view over here, it's gonna kind of windy, so be careful. Look at that. Look at how dirty the side of the van is. <laughs> I'm 
mean? Yeah, that's a bit dirty. Danielle said, well, why is only one side dirty and the other side's clean? Well, that's because when we were driving by the side of the sea and the tide was coming over, that side of the van got a wash. <laughs> Back in the van, it's time to start warming up a bit. Breakfast time, I've got granola with a bit of fruit and some uh, yogurt. We've got some bit of honey to go on it. Have another cup of tea, then it's time to start planning the rest of this adventure. Where we're gonna park up tonight, what we're gonna do today, that sort of stuff. Uh, there's meant to be a, a cattle grid there. Um, Hello buddy. Should we go out and just see what's what? I mean there's a couple of baby cows there so I'm pretty nervous that they're like mums are gonna like headbutt me and stuff. And I'm not being funny mate, that dude looks hench. He looks like he could take you on. You want a van life adventure? This is a van life adventure. Yep, see you later buddy. Do you know who? The one yeah, there was one just here. He was just there, the baby one. He's like, hello buddy. All right geezer. All right, let's go and see what we can do here. All right guys, now this is the scary thing. Um, you're all bigger than me. Look at you just sat there looking at me. What's your name, buddy? Oh, okay, okay then. Don't talk to me in that tone of voice, woman. <laughs> there is like literally, there is a cattle grid just there that I want to go through. Uh, can you all... Oh, the van's going to get covered in crap. I, I want to go that way, please. Oh, I pointed and she moved. I don't want you to get... Oh, look at the babies. Look at the cute... Oh, what, what are you huffling, puffling at me? See, now, what do I do here? Oh, okay then, okay then, okay then, you're bigger than me. Don't look at me like that. Come on. I need somehow to get through that road. Look, 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 look. Right, so if I come this side, you guys can't go over the cattle grid. No! 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 <laughs> oh, there, there's a little gate on the left, on the right that they're going through. So, oh, hello guys. Can you guys get through the gate too? Come on. What are you talking to? Can, can we get through, please? Can you tell them, please, buddy? You look like friend. You look dead friendly. Come on. I ho, I ho. Look, I just need to go that way. Thank you. Go on. Hey, it seems if I point, they will go. Ah, oh, yes, I am the secret cow whisperer. Move! <laughs> Come on, guys. Come on. Can we move? Don't be pointing that bum at me. Oh! Move! Move! Oh, there's more cows over there. Ah, oh, they're eating. And these ones are not. That's what they want. Oh! Well, the van looks good. Yes, I know. You're not very happy. Oh! oh. <laughs> Is this your musical band, dude? Here comes the farmer. Here comes the farmer. The farmer just left and left me with the cows in front of me. Right. Leave me to it. It was, yes. <laughs> right. Come on, dickheads. Come on. Come on. You, piss off. Piss off. You, stay. You, stay. You, stay. Good. Right. Go, go, go! I am the cow whisperer! Fuck off, no bit! So the plans for today, we want to see a Highland cow, we want to see some wildlife, some nice scenic spots, maybe a few castles, and I want to have a forest park up tonight, the Forest of Galloway Park up. Try and go for like a nighttime walk with the head torch, try and find some deer and stuff like that. I imagine it's going to be full of them around there. The Highland cow piece is complete. Look at them bad boys up there! She's like proper happy. Lifelong dream complete with that beast just sat there looking absolutely gorgeous. Look at him. So we knew this place was booked up. They do like a safari and stuff. It's called, what is it? Kitchen Coos and Ooze. We knew it was booked up. So we just thought, we'll come down. Is there a little cafe? We can get a coffee, a little gift shop. We can pick up some stuff. Cause I wanted some stuff. Danielle wanted some stuff. And um, yeah, went into the shop. How much did we spend? 30 odd pack, I don't know. I got some stuff, I'll show you that in a bit. I'll have a little walk up, just a few minutes, just to see some of the cows that we saw on the way in. 
and then we'll go and head off and do something cool after as well. <laughs> A fun story with those ones the lady was telling us those ones just there she's a terrorist apparently she always wants to kill everybody so they took her off display off the tour and stuff left her down there with a couple of the others that they don't want to breed anymore they've retired them apparently they literally had like all the pillows and all the touristy stuff in the shop but they were pictures of the exact cows and the lady that's been there i've known these for generations and generations that's and they've all got Gaelic names. That's this one, that's this one. She's pretty, she's a sweetheart. This one wants to kill you. It was weird, they weren't like proper naming them all. Let's have a look and see what we actually got. So we've got the the brochure for the tours. I've got my Highland cow. Uh, he's possibly gonna sit. I can't, oh no, we can sit him down there or something. I don't know, he's gonna be in the van. Cool little fridge magnety thingy, my bob. What else did we get? I didn't think we got anything else. Ah, oh, do you want to put it up with the, all the other air fresheners? And what else? Look at that. Oh, we've got a mug as well. Apparently this doesn't smell like an old coo. Now we head off. We've got a couple of scenic lookout points. Basically a coastal drive across the whole side of the coast leading up towards air. Up there, we're hoping to grab a... Well, Danielle wants to go into McDonald's because she's still freaks out over the fact they do iron brew on the machine in mcdonald's so we're probably gonna have to go and grab one of them uh maybe go and get some fuel as well just to make sure we've got enough fuel because this tomorrow is going to be a day where i don't think there's going to be any petrol stations but let's go for this scenic drive first viewpoint is just here you've got the isle of craig straight there in the background just behind it the isle of Arran, and then you can't really see it on camera but right in the distance you've got the highlands little bit zoomed in for you there's the isle of man going all the way across there then you've got the isle of craig just there you've got the isle of Arran just there and right up in the background the highlands now the joy with a road trip especially around scotland every single tourist attraction has a tourist sign so you can just be driving along past stranra past the irish ferries and you'll spot a little sign that says turn in here to go and see whatever it's amazing some of the breathtaking views we had and the amount of signs we passed where we thought you know what we'll have a look at that one day we pinned it on the map but then we saw a brewery oh i wanted to pick up a bottle of scottish whiskey i'm not even a whiskey drinker that much but i wanted to pick up one from a scotland road trip so that when we sat in the van in years to come we could be sat there oh do you remember when we got this from such and such a place and we'll have a little sip every now and then and imagine this is the good stuff it's all covered in glass. We were asking all the questions on what's good, what's not good, and then he said, do you want to try a little taste? I know I can't because I was driving. Danielle was all up for it with the gin. She was trying all the different flavours of gin. That's what really sold it for her. I always wanted to go to like a proper Scottish distillery for a bottle of whiskey. You don't want just to leave in the cupboard every now and then. You're with some friends, you pop it out, you have a little bit. Got one. I'm well chuffed. We've just had to pull in because Aaron looks amazing. Just look at how breathtaking that island looks. Wow, I need to get over there at some point. It's not like I've not tried either. Every time I've tried to book through Calmag Ferries, it's either the van's too big, the boats aren't working, or so, there's always a problem. It seems to be because this van's over six and a half meters long with that spare wheel carrier on the back, and it's just only certain boats can take, the, take me. And it's just... The hassle we've had is unreal, but it's cheap as chips as well, so we're just going to have to keep trying to get over there because that looks beautiful. Get up some of those mountains. But we're down this hill for a reason. I'll show you that in a minute. So let me show you where we are. We're on Electric Bray. This basically is an illusion. It looks like you're going up a hill. You can see that car going uphill. Well, it's actually a, an illusion, show to speak. Let me show you. So look, I'll take you over the road to show you the van. Looks like it's... Oh, there's a car coming. <laughs> <laughs> so the van is pointing uphill correct when these cars are gone i'll show you but there you go the van is uphill motorbike coming past jump back in the van there we go jump back in the van and like i say the van looks like it's going uphill so if i take the handbrake off it should roll backwards we take the It's rolling forward. Here we go. Feet off the pedals. I'm in wobbly gear. Handbrake goes off. And we're rolling forward. Wow. It's like a proper full-on holographic illusion. I don't think it's called holographic illusion, but that's just what I'm going to call it. 
And now we're going to park up in this lay-by with an absolute cracking view of Aaron. Just look at how... Well, you can't really see it. The window's dirty. But anyway, the Isle of Aaron. If anyone knows of a way how I can get a big camper van over there, just let me know. On the menu, nothing more than a bit of tomato soup, some bread. Have you ever dunked one of these in some soup? It's a, what, scotch egg, I think they're called, or whatever the... I don't know. Well, that's quite nice, actually. It was time to continue the road trip. The next stop was a milkshake vending machine farm that Danielle had seen on TikTok. This whole road trip seems to be things that we've seen on TikTok. It was called the Coo Shed. After this was a piece that I've been looking forward to the whole road trip. The overnight park up in the Dumfries and Galloway Dark Sky Night Park in the Galloway Forest. It involved a 10 mile drive down a forest track called the Raiders Road. And boy, this road did not disappoint me. We're going to park on this road deep in the middle of the Galloway Forest. Perfection. If you ever get a chance in your life to go and drive the Raiders Road, uh, Dumfries and Galloway, do it. SWC 300. It's a beautiful road. It's just a gravel track, but it's like all over. It's like a forestry track. Like the Forestry Commission built the road. You can't see anything on Street View about it or anything. And it's just straight through the middle of the forest. It's absolutely breathtakingly beautiful. Just look at it. This is like the other side of it. We've come through. We've parked up for the night just there tucked away really hidden away and uh, tomorrow's adventures are uh, up that way sort of way so we're going to stop here for the night we've got a beautiful sunrise going up there and we're hoping we've got some like animal tracks behind the back of the van so we're hoping to see some deer or something like that i don't know that would be cool that's after food anyway tonight we've got some pasta some chili cheese bites and the formula one sprint race may have a little tickle later let's look at the size of that carrot cake look there's my hand Look how big that is! Let's try some of the uh, whiskey that we got earlier. It's apparently 10 years old and it's dead famous and there's an actual cork in the top. Look, can you smell it? No? Okay then, well I'll taste it for you. How much do we have? Is it just... Is that enough? More? Okay then, we'll have that much, shall we? I don't even know whether I should have actually opened that bottle or not. Is it one of those famous things where I shouldn't have really opened it? I don't know. Oh. I'm too scared. I don't normally drink whiskey. <laughs> what do I do? Just sip it or just sip it? Ooh. I've never tasted whiskey like that. I'm just... Oh, okay then. <laughs> oh, that got me. That got me. Ooh. Um, I was expecting it to be like Jack Daniels-y, but ooh, that's not... Taste it. You're not on camera, don't worry, but they can hear you they can hear your reaction. Oh <laughs> she's got the face of Her lips. <laughs> Her lips are burning. <laughs> oh that's <laughs> It's the same as you though, look. You got gin. He told me I could put that on ice cream. Yeah. Put it on ice cream, mention food, she wants it. <laughs> oh that'll keep me warm tonight good morning seven o'clock in the morning 
but the heat's not in the van, she's just getting changed. And we've got a beautiful sunrise happening just over there. That's gonna look amazing when it comes up. All I've got is the sound of the birds and the diesel eater on the van because she's cold. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> Same breakfast as always, yogurt and fruit granola, but we've got some milkshake from yesterday's milkshake farm. So we're ready for the day's adventures. We've got cows sat there loving life. We could always go right, but that's going back down the road, the Raiders Road that we've just come up before we packed up last night. So we're gonna go that way and swing a left and go back round towards the other end of the Raiders Road. That way we're gonna see Kenmuir Castle, hopefully, and get down to a deer farm. Deer farm? No, deer park. It's called Red Deer Park. <laughs> He's dear. Oh, I just bumped into a sign down there. Apparently, this is a hide. Let's see. Let's go and have a little look. There's nobody in here. Danielle's outside because she found mushrooms, so she's gone to look for that. And I can't really see anything through them. Oh, there's a deer. Oh, this one you can undo. So if I twist that and that one it did come down look at them beauties look at them just sat there lovely yes i got to see my red deer there's a wild goat park down the road. I've just seen on Google Maps. So we're going to go check that out too. So we're down at the goat place and there is no goats kicking around. So I've got the leftover red berry granola, mixed it with the leftover cornflakes, and I'm just going to shake it. Failing that, I'll just say, Oi, Kevin, and see if he comes running down. It's not working. You've got a few that are all the way up there and a few that are halfway up on that mountain there. They're the ones we can see. So obviously we don't want them to come rushing down here because you don't want them to go, Timber Splat, do you? Uh, we just Kevin come down to Grey Mare's tail now. It's a waterfall hike. It's not a big hike or anything It's just one of the reasons why we love Scotland enough space to actually park the van There's a little car park the little car park obviously normally gets full So they dig out this big massive lay-by and it fits perfectly in there. Let's get up We've got the hiking boots on for once on this whole adventure. We're actually going on a hike There's the first waterfall. Let's get a bit closer and show you a bit better. Here we go Grey Mare's Waterfall. Not to be confused with the one over on the Moffat Hills. This is the one in Dumfries and Galloway. That's proper cool actually. I'm quite happy with that. The water is absolutely crystal clear the whole way down the valley. In the valleys. I'm not in Wales now. We're in Scotland. Now let's head up to that monument up there. It's hard to think that 100 mile away on the other side of Scotland they're being battered by a massive storm. A storm that's killed a few people. And here Crystal clear blue skies, glorious weather. So hiking up a big hill to go and see a monument. It's amazing how the weather works, isn't it? Nearly there, there's the monument just there. Look at that, you can see the van all the way down there with the solar panels. Goat Hill. I don't think it is called Goat Hill, but I'm gonna call it Goat Hill. It looks way bigger than it did on the ground. We've got the last little push up to the monument. We can either go up a tiny little scramble just there or just straight up that little grassy bit just there. It was so nice getting the boots on just for a little hike throughout this adventure. We all know me, I love my hiking, I love my adventures, I love my outdoors. And this just ticked off something really nice that we saw randomly. There's Murray's monument done. Let's get back down to the van. Can you believe it's 15 degrees, but last night through the night was only three degrees. I've got one more thing on the list and that's going to get Daniela Mackey's because she wants to get the iron brew that you can get on the tap in, um, in Scotland. If she wants to do that, then we're gonna head back, drop her off, Tune in next time for the next big adventure.